There is a popular saying, save for your rainy days. Provident fund is such a saving that you make during your earning period. This is in fact the major portion of retirement savings for many. Indian government has announced that people can withdraw cash from their employee provident fund if they are facing financial problems due to the coronavirus related lockdown. Watch this video to learn how to withdraw cash from EPF for COVID-19 relief online through your laptop or desktop. In case if you want to apply through Umang app using your mobile, check out my video where I explain step by step how to withdraw cash from EPF for COVID-19 relief using your mobile. Welcome to Save and Invest Smartly. Hi friends, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to keep watching such useful personal finance videos. How much can I withdraw from PF for the COVID-19 relief? The maximum that you can withdraw is lower of 3 months of basic plus DA or 75% of credit balance in the account. For example, if basic plus DA is 25,000 per month, then 3 months basic plus DA is 75,000. If you have the credit balance of 2 lakhs in your PF account, the lower of these two is 75,000. Then you will be able to withdraw maximum rupees 75,000 only. Am I eligible to apply? The eligibility conditions to be met to withdraw cash from PF for COVID-19 relief are your EPF universal account number that is UAN must be activated. Aadhaar number should be verified and linked with your UAN. Your bank account with IFSC code should be linked to the UAN. If you have already done these three settings in your PF account, then you can directly skip over to the procedure how to withdraw cash from EPF for COVID-19 relief online using laptop or desktop. If you have not done these three settings, then continue watching. I will explain how to do all these three settings using your laptop or desktop before you apply. Step 1. Activate your UAN. If you don't know what is your UAN, just check your company payslip and note that down. Open your browser and search for EPF member in Google. Click on Member Home EPF. You will be taken to the home page of Member eSeva portal. On the bottom of the page, you will see a link called Activate UAN. Click on that. This will take you to the next page where you have to fill up the UAN, name, date of birth, mobile number and email ID. Verify the CAPTCHA and click on Get Authorization PIN. You will receive an OTP on your mobile. Enter the OTP, tick on I agree checkbox and click Validate OTP and Activate UAN. Now if all the details that you have filled up is correct, then your UAN will be activated and you will get a success message like this. The password will be sent to your mobile number. The step 1 is completed. You now have the UAN activated and the password is also sent to your registered mobile number. Step 2. Verify and link your Aadhaar number with your UAN. Open your browser and search for EPF. Click on epfindia.gov.in. This will take you to the home page of EPF India. On the left bottom corner, you will find a link called eKYC portal. Click on that. You will land on the eKYC portal. Click on the button Link UAN Aadhaar. This will take you to the next page. Fill up the UAN and the mobile number linked with UAN. Click on Generate OTP. Once you receive the OTP, enter that in Confirm OTP text box. Select the gender. Enter the Aadhaar number here and select Aadhaar verification using mobile or email based OTP. Verify the CAPTCHA and then click on Submit. The step 2 is now completed. Your Aadhaar is now linked with your UAN. Step 3. Link your bank account with IFSC code with your UAN. Open your browser, search for EPF member and click on Member Home EPF. On the Member eSeva portal, enter the UAN, password, verify the CAPTCHA and click on Sign In. You will see the dashboard with member profile details displayed on the right side. Click on the menu Manage, select KYC. This will take you to the next page where you can add several KYC related documents. Tick the Bank checkbox. Enter the document number. Document number is your bank account number. Name as per document is name as per your bank account. And in other, enter the IFSC code of your bank branch. Click on save to submit. Now the step 3 is completed. 
your bank account with IFSC code is linked to the UAN. Now let us see the procedure how to withdraw cash from EPF for COVID-19 relief. From your browser, search EPF member in Google. Click on member home EPF. On the member eSeva portal login page, enter your UAN password, verify the captcha and click on sign in. On your dashboard, you will see the member profile details on the right hand side. On the left, you will see various menu options. Click on online services and then select the first option claim form. This will take you to the online claim form where all your details are pre-filled. The last four digits of your bank account number will be shown here. You need to click on verify to confirm that this is your bank account number. Once you click on verify, you will see a pop-up certificate of undertaking where you have to confirm that this bank account belongs to you. Click on yes. You will now be taken to the next page to choose the claim form type. You will see that all the details like mobile number, UAN, name, PAN, date of joining, date of leaving, all these are pre-filled. From the drop-down of claim options, select PF Advance Form 31. From the next drop-down, purpose for which advance is required, select the reason as outbreak of pandemic COVID-19. Fill up the amount of advance that you want to apply for, enter your address details, and also upload a scanned copy of your check leaf or your bank passbook. The file should be of JPG type with minimum 100 KB to maximum 500 KB. Make sure that the bank account number, IFSC and your name is clearly visible on the check. Now tick the check box where you are declaring that all the details that you have filled in is correct. Now click on the button get Aadhaar OTP. Enter the OTP number that you have received and click on validate OTP and submit claim form. Your form for withdrawing cash from your PF account is now submitted. If you want to track the claim status, then you may go to the menu online services select track claim status option on the next page you will see the tracking id of your claim and what is the date you submitted and what is the date it is sent to the field office and what is the claim status this will show pending as of now once your claim is approved you will see the status changed the cash will be credited to your account in two to three working days the other key information that you should know are this withdrawal is non-refundable, hence you need not pay back this advance to your EPF account. The advance can be availed separately for COVID-19, even if you have recently availed advance for some other illness. There is no income tax on the amount of advance that you withdraw. A final piece of advice to you. EPF is one of the best savings that you regularly do and should be used as your retirement corpus. Withdraw from your EPF corpus only if you don't have any other option for arranging cash. Hope this video was helpful to you. Please write down in comments if you have more queries on how to withdraw cash from EPF for COVID-19 relief. In case if you want to apply through Umang app using your mobile, check out my video where I step by step explain how to withdraw cash from EPF for COVID-19 relief using your mobile. Give a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more useful videos like this. Thank you.